Look who went and made a new friend. They, uh, agreed not to put us behind bars, at least for now. But we're gonna need a lawyer, though. Shono. Don't move! Drop the knife! Just telling him to stop's not gonna do shit. Shono! for them anymore. Huh? What's that? This? It's a dose of AD9. You see, I finally did it. What are you doing? AD9 is done now. Everything I have has gone into this one syringe. There's no mistaking it this time. Here's the proof. I'm going to show you once and for all. I'll prove that my miracle drug is a reality! How many people has your miracle killed? People. People? But it'll save millions, maybe tens of millions across the world. That's why you thought it was okay to murder an innocent woman? Huh? Is that why you stabbed her to death and burned the evidence? Okobo-kun took the fall for all of it. You sent a good man to die! I never wanted to kill anyone. But it had to happen for 89. It was the only way to save all of them! The toxin is irremovable. Use of 89 will always result in death. Shono-kun told me as much. Countless human experiments led him to that conclusion. In other words, AD-9's development has failed. But Shono-kun didn't want to admit that. He couldn't say that it was over, that he had killed several people. That it was all for naught. And when exactly did Shono-san tell you all this? Only the other day. It was after hearing that, that I decided to testify in this trial. Save the world. That's your bullshit excuse, huh? I don't buy it. The reason you murdered Emi-chan was so you could save your own skin. If you really cared about helping people, you would have left your research to someone else instead of resorting to murder. But 89 is my drug. I'm the only one who could have finished it. And now I'll finally prove it. Prove that all my research was worth the effort. Prove that I was right to do what I did! Wait! 
For the longest time, my mother cared for both of my dementia-ridden grandparents. Once the disease had finally mercifully taken them, my mother died too. So you see, Alzheimer's has taken many loved ones away, even from me. <clears throat> But now, it won't be taking anyone else, ever again. My entire career as a researcher, all the time I spent developing AD9, every single minute of it has led to this moment. But I... Uh... But why? <laughs> so that's why... I finally understand. <laughs> when a patient is injected with AD-9, they experience intense pain localized to the head, and their eyes become filled with a dark blue pigment. In the end, it's a gruesome death. As for the eyes, the toxins present in AD-9 are what turns them blue. Shonokun admitted as much. Had that been noticed, it would have been clear proof of the experiments. And hence, every single corpse discovered in Kamarocho was found with the eyes removed. Shonokun disposed of them, all in an effort to hide the horrible truth of his failure. I can't thank you enough, Yagami-sensei. Next week, huh? That's soon. It'll be nice to be out after all these years. The, uh, the retrial for Emmy's case is coming up. Well, that'll be more of a formality than anything. And don't worry. Nobody believes you killed Emmy-chan anymore. Right. You're already taking off? Actually, uh... I brought someone else who wants to talk to you today. Huh? Fumia... Kun... You can take it from here. You're welcome to stick around, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thanks for this, Yagami-san. So Shono and Kuroiwa are both dead, huh? And Ichinose and Morita are behind bars. Thanks to Yagami's agency, yes. Things may be somewhat hectic from now on, though. The health ministry is in turmoil, as is the ADDC. Yes, the center will likely be shut down. In the end, I suppose things worked out for Kajihira. 
That's unacceptable. Well, you're in luck, Saurikun. Sounds like they're investigating his collusion with Minister Kazumi. The police are already on the case. Everyone tries, but you can't escape the law. I suppose all bad deeds will come to light eventually. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, and speaking of... Yes? I'm no senile old fool. Your little fling is clear as day. Huh? I'll have none of that in my office, is that clear? Oh. <laughs> I had no idea, sir. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> well, you kids are all the same. Never listen to an old fart like me. Though it's not like we're any better, huh? <laughs> Always ignoring our elders. Right? Old friend. You know, I really wouldn't mind you going back. I mean, back to being an attorney again. It's not like we got work coming in. Maybe I could find a job at another agency or something. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna abandon our business like that, man. But this is your chance to be an upstanding citizen again. Come on, man. You know how much of a gaping shithole this city is. Only a dumbass would be a detective here. Well, thank you very much. Kaito sounds right, though, you know? I mean, just think about it. People would line up just to have you represent them. It shouldn't even be a question. You think so? Of course I think so. <laughs> Genda Sensei would love to have you back at his office. And, um, I'm sure Matsugane-san would agree with him. Yep. She's right, man. Everything's led up to this point. It's like your story circling back around. And there's this fancy French word. Uh, starts with a D. This is your... Your denouement? That's it! Would you two give it a rest? Huh? <sighs> I quit. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I'm a detective. But funny enough, if I hadn't left Genda's, I never would have proven Okobo-kun innocent. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. Pretty damn ironic. It's been three years now since I abandoned the truth and left my job as a lawyer. But it turned out that decision Led me straight to the truth I tried to run away from. Guess it goes to show, you never know where your choices will take you. It's destiny. That's what you guys were saying just now, right? So, no matter what decisions you might make, what comes after matters most. The real important takeaway from all this is to never give up. I guess. By the way... Hmm? What is it? I was just thinking about how I looked in that suit. I didn't really pull it off, did I? <sighs> I knew it. That settles it. I'm never wearing a suit again. No way, no how. Hey, you know, now that's another plus of staying a detective. Seriously? Hello? Yagami Detective Agency. Huh? Your cat ran away and it still hasn't come home? What do you think this is, lady? A pet shop? Oh yeah? We'll do it. Ask her some more about the cat. But Yagami-kun... Chaco. And she's five? <sighs> Just send us a picture, yeah? Alright, time to get some catnip at Don Quixote! Kaito-san. Hmm. This is our first job in a while. Now let's go find that lady's cat. Hmm. 